who was Womack. Myself and other coaches were working to bring additional skill sets to make Fiji as competitive as possible in the world rugby scene. And we really want to enjoy our rugby and our time together. That's all from Fern. So, um, as you can see, we have a very, very exciting announcement in our new head coach. Um, the chairman and our CEO are here at the moment to take any of your questions. With the media release that's going out, we will also have that audio clip um, uploaded for your use. And uh, now we'll just hand it over uh, if anyone would like to ask any questions. Ladies and gentlemen, just before we take uh, any questions, uh, like I said earlier, the, the process has been a lengthy one. And I understand that the majority of all Fijians have been waiting anxiously for the announcement of our flying Fijians uh, uh, head coach. Uh, in summary, there were 20 candidates that applied for the post. Uh, we've sorted, shortlisted it down to six. And uh, the six uh, shortlisted candidates went through the process. And uh, we've come up with uh, the best candidate for the job, whom uh, the panel believed and the board endorsed to become the next uh, flying Fijian coach. And as you heard from the clip, Mr. Vern Cotter from New Zealand, who's currently the coach, up in uh, director of coaching up in Montpellier in France. In our level, we're happy to take any questions. Mr. Chairman, um, Mr. Cotter's um, contract with Montpellier will end in June, so will he have an early, early release or when is expected to start? You know, I mentioned earlier about expecting a process, and I want to thank uh, FBC in particular for that. Uh, Vern was supposed to be in Fiji uh, for this media conference. Uh, unfortunately, he has to travel back to France to uh, meet up with his current employers and to discuss uh, uh, his appointment as uh, our flying Fijian coach. Whether he's going to join us early or as of June, that is something that uh, we will await uh, uh, the outcomes of his discussions with his club up in France. Mr. Chairman, does this mean he's he will take us through to the next World Cup? Ideally, that's uh, the solution that we want, but uh, the contract that we've given to uh, Vern is uh, for three years, and uh, hopefully there will be a review uh, in the second year uh, to, uh, to, to gauge uh, his performance and to see uh, whether this will need to continue further. Any further questions? Mr. Chairman, uh, I noticed that uh, Mr. Potter will be working with some local coaches on your runs, and it says that on uh, development and success in training. So is there a really thing that there is a possibility of a local coach taking the position of a flight business coach? What video organization you call? Peace Peace Thank you. Thank you. You know, uh, yes, that's uh, one of uh, the negotiations that we've been in with uh, Mr. Potter to have uh, one of our locals uh, under his uh, tutelage during his term as our flying feeds and head coach. Uh, the coach that's uh, earmarked to be under his guidance is Senior Rusi Senior uh, Servakula. We want him to be under his tutelage during his tenure year. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, this is the vision that the Fiji Rugby Union has, the board has, that one day, uh, and hopefully we foresee that coming after the Rugby World Cup in 2023, to have a coach, a local coach, that can take us onwards to the World Cup in 2020, 2027 and beyond. I guess just to add on to Chairman, one of his uh, key roles is to work also with provincial coaches, upskill them, and bring them up. And we have a lot of coaches within Rugby House. Uh, we've got Sari and Cody, and it's a good opportunity uh, having a top quality coach who's coached at international level uh, to upskill our coaches eh? and mentor them into future roles eh? for the elite teams, future elite teams. Eh? Anything further? Mr. Chairman, sorry. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Is this the first time we have any director of rugby as a national coach? Thank you, Quilla. Uh, as you can see from uh, the prepared uh, media statement, you know, it's in the, the appointment of Mr. Ben a world class rugby coach. Uh, if you uh, read through the media release, uh, his experience up in New Zealand rugby, particularly with the Crusaders, and then on to uh, clubs in France like Clermont and also Montpellier. 
and also being head coach of Scotland, I think it augurs well for the future of, of, of Fiji rugby. Uh, uh, it's an investment for Fiji rugby, and I think Fiji rugby has been very fortunate to secure the services of a top world-class coach like Mr. Ben Potter. Thank you, Irfan. What we've done is uh, we normally leave uh, the appointment of his assistants and technical coaches and support staff uh, to the coach. But like we said, uh, Senirusi, that was part of the negotiations uh, in securing uh, Vern Cotter's uh, decision to come and coach the Flying Fijians to have a local under his tutelage uh, during the period of his employment in Fiji Rugby. I guess that's the next step in his appointment uh, when he comes and resumes his duty. He will then indicate to us uh, what his preference are, and then we have to get the, our budget and things there, and that's a matter for me and Vern to get down into business uh, to make sure that he has a team that supports him, that will support our competitiveness. Eh? Just to go back to Fiji Times, a question, if I may. Uh, I know there's a lot of interest on uh, developing local talent. I want to you know, pose the question back to the media if the experts in this. The capacity, you know, right now we're trying to build capacity in Fiji Rugby Union. Uh, we lack in that area, particularly in areas uh, of coaching, to be coaches up in the level two, level three area. That's somewhere that that's something that we we driving towards uh, with the help of Oceania Rugby and uh, World Rugby. On Thursday, you'll also be invited to another media conference. We'll also be making announcement for our general manager, high performance union. I'm glad to announce to the media. Uh, gathered here this afternoon, you know, it's, on, it's also going to be another Fijian that's taking up this post and also Irma, hopefully, after 2023, we have capacity in our ranks to be able to take up this appointment as a prime Fijian coach, as a brewer coach, as a Latvi coach, to come and work as our manager development and also our operations team. Eh? As part of the uh, requirements uh, and negotiations with, uh, with Vern, uh, as you know, the, the Sports uh, Commission uh, funds the salary of the, of the head coach, and one of the requirements is that the head coach must uh, be in Fiji, decide in Fiji. Um, it's a matter for Vern when he comes for us to discuss the, his accommodation and things uh, when he starts. Anything final? Uh, anything on his uh, package? <coughs> I think that uh, we had good negotiations with Good, uh, but as a matter of confidentiality, we cannot discuss the package at the moment. Uh, but like I said, uh, the Sports Commission helps us in the funding of the coaches' package. Uh, we had consulted them before the, the appointment, and they're quite happy with, uh, with whatever package we have. Right. Sorry, finally from my is there a possibility you can release the six sub-sovens uh, candidates? Yes. Okay, thank you. Will. The candidates were uh, Mr. Dean Richards, many of us know him, uh, former England uh, uh, player uh, who's currently the director of coaching up in Newcastle in England. Also, uh, Mr. Senurus Iserwakula, uh, Fred Basima from France. Uh, Olivier Mene from France uh, and uh, Simon Rewalui uh, from uh, Australia, but a Fijian living in Australia. Okay, if we have nothing further, are you happy, sir? Yeah, we, uh, we are excited, we can't wait for him to come and start. Uh, because we know that uh, with this appointment, uh, you know, the fine feeders will move from where we are now and to become more competitive against the other nations. And that's uh, a 
ಕಾಲ್ ಕಟ್ಟೆ ಇಟ್ಟು ಈ ಓಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಇದು ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಎಕ್ಸೈಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಐ ಕನ್ ಸಿ ಇದು ಎಕ್ಸೈಟ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಇನ್ನು ಕೈ ಸಾಬು ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ನೀ ಇಂಜುರಿ ವಿಚ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ಅ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಬಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಟೆನ್ ಹೋಮ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಎನ್ ಅಸೆಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ಇಂಜುರಿ ಟು ಸಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಶಿ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಮಿಸ್ ದ ಒಲಿಂಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಡೂ ಎನ್ ಅಸೆಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಎನ್ ಸಿ ವೇರ್ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಆಲ್ಟರ್ನೇಟಿವ್ ರಿಹಾಬಿಲಿಟೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಫಿಟ್ ಟು ದ ಒಲಿಂಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎನ್ ಪ್ರಸಿಲ ಪ್ರಸಿಲ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ಲೋನ್ ಔಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಟು ದಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ no injury for the men uh, they all fit uh, we waiting for gear to to announce his tournament and also waiting for them to perform but this is a question uh, cfl any news about the because there is coronavirus in sydney right now uh, do you have any contact about them anyone getting serious uh, i think uh, right now uh, it's something that you will need to work uh, uh representatives that work up in the street and like uh, they would be the best people to advise us and also uh, uh those that work in the ministry okay and but the two men is going ahead right on second uh, time so it means they have their precautionary measures um but okay guys well i'm excited i'm excited about the flanker jeans and very excited about the